animated and the next thing you know, he be telling it like this and da 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 da. And it was a lot. All right, so now I'm checking out Harry Chapin. I'm listening to the song Sniper. Let's get into it. Here's a song that I could probably talk about for uh, two weeks, but uh, I'm not going to burden you, and hopefully the, uh, the story and the words will tell it the way it should be. If he had a reaction channel with two week-long reactions, that would be epic. It is an early Monday morning. The sun is becoming bright on the land. No one is watching as he comes walking. Two bulky suitcases hang from his hands. He heads towards the tower, the stands in the campus. He goes through the door, starts up the stairs. The sound of his footsteps, the sound of his breathing, the sound of the silence, but no one was there. I did not really know him, he was kind of strange. Always sort of sat down, it never seemed to change. Oh, oh. Catwalk, he put down his burden. The four sided clock began to chime. 7 a.m., the day is beginning. There's so much to do, so little time. He looks at the city when no one had known him. He looks at the sky when no one looks down. He looks at his life. And what it had shown him, he looks for his shadow, it cannot be found. He was such a moody child, very hard to touch. Even as a baby, he never smiled too much, no, no. Me, she said, you're ugly, she said, please hurt me, I said, but she just sat there with the same flat stare that she says to me alone when I'm home, when I'm home, take me home. Okay, I'm trying to see what are we doing with genre wise here. I was going to guess folk because at some points I was hearing folk. But this song is really kind of genre fluid or something. It's like shifting around from this happier sound to the sadder sound. Like right now, he just shifted into the sadder sound. When I'm home, it's da -da 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 -da. but before it's like, doom, da -da -doom, da -da -doom. I mean, that's totally not the melody, but you get what I'm saying. The energy, the energy that doom, da -da -doom, da -da. it's like that kind of energy before, but the lyrics have been sadder the whole time, in my opinion. The auto generate captions were doing me right. But now they're completely off. So I guess I gotta just zero in and not. It's weird reading something that's different than what you're listening to. I guess I need to stop looking at these captions and just go by ear. He laid out the rifles and loaded the shotgun, stacked up the cartridges along the wall. He knew he would need them for his conversation. If it went as a plan, then he might use them all. He said, listen, you people, I've got a question. You won't pay attention, but I'll ask anyhow. I've found a way that will force you to answer. Been waiting to ask you till now. Who's not made a fist? 
am I? If I am alive, then there's so much I've missed. How do I know I exist? Good question. Are you to me? Are you listening to me? Am I? The first words he spoke took the town by surprise. One got Mrs. Gibbons above her right eye. It blew it through the window, which turned against the door. Reality born from a face staining the floor. He was trying to creep it. Just once, that was all. Bill Whedon was questioned as he stepped from his car. Tom Scott ran across the street, but he never got that far. Police were there in minutes, they set up barricades, but he spoke right on over them. And the half mile circle in the dumbstruck city, his point in questions was strange. He knocked over Danny Tyson as he ran towards the noise. And just about then the answer started coming. Sweet, sweet joy. She said, Ah, button in the clock face, winding off the walls, reaching up to where he sat there answering calls. She said, She said, Thirty-seven people got his message so far. Yes, he was reaching them right where they are. They set up an assault team They asked for volunteers They had to go and get him That much is clear And the word spread about him On the radios and TV The appropriate these overtones They asked Who can it be? Okay, what am I missing here? Is this like some kind of mass casualty event? I feel like they're talking in code Like what I mean? 37 people got the message And da 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 Earlier in that song, they were talking about he was grabbing a, a gun or something like that. And then we're talking about, are you a fighter? I'm a fighter who's never made a fist. I'm a lover who's never had a kiss. Am I? Do I even exist? We're getting all philosophical and stuff. And as I actually love that question. That is that. I see why he said he could talk for two weeks about this song. It's just jam-packed with so much stuff. You can't spend much time thinking about what you just heard. Because then you're going to miss the next thing. And I think that's what I've been doing. I'm like, dang, does he exist? Do I exist? You know, you think about that. Is this a simulation? Am I even real? Is anyone I interact with real? Are they NPCs or, you know, some kind of simulated bot? Or something? how do I know I'm not in a psych ward? I'm going to wake up one day and all this is fake. You know what I mean? You think about these kind of things. At least I do. And I wonder if anyone else thinks about it. This man thinks about it. It was a very dull boy. Very taciturn. They're coming to get me. They don't want to let me stay in the bright light too long. It's getting I know now. It's going to be soon now. But oh, what a wonderful song. Mama. Won't you nurse me? Rain me down the sweet milk of your kindness. Oh, okay. Mama, it's getting worse for me. Won't you please make me warm and mindless? Mama, yes, you have cursed me. I never will forgive you for your blindness. I hate you. The 
wires are all humming for me. And I can hear them coming for me. So they'll be here, but there's nothing to fear. Not anymore, though they blasted the door. As the cop that dropped the gas, he shouted, Oh, jazz! They could hear him laughing as they started up the stairs. They stormed down on the catwalk, blinking at the sun with their final fusillade. His answer, Come. Ah, am I? Okay, I definitely think this was about some kind of mass casualty event. Some guy looking to validate his existence, looking for significance. You know what I mean? Maybe his mom didn't love him all that much, which was what we just talked about in that ministry song. So what? Members on your parents don't pay attention to you, and now you want to kill for the thrill, the thrill seeking, do 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 do. I think that's what this song was about. It was about a guy who became a sniper. I thought they said he grabbed a shotgun or something. I don't remember. Okay, he grabbed some kind of gun. Let's say a sniper. And then 37 people delivered the message. So does that, is that code for saying that he killed 37 people? Because back in the day, things were spoken in code. Things were a lot less vulgar and explicit. So maybe that's what he's saying there. And the guy is having a mental breakdown as he's killing people. And the cops are coming, talking about his mom should have nursed him with kindness and this, this, and that. That's what I think is going on. I mean, I'm trying to piece it all together because some of the things just seem like emotion explosions or something like the whole mama bit like mom nurse me i'm like what how old is this person asking their mom to nurse him and then he goes with kindness and da 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 like let the kindness rain down like maybe he was having some kind of emotional breakdown in the middle of doing a mass casualty event or something like that i'm trying to piece it all together it was a very interesting performance and the music kept shifting into different sounds it was almost like you know like a live storytelling but with live music as well. So the music would shift as the vibe and the emotion of the story shifted. So that's interesting. That also also has my attention. And then the way he's singing or telling the story, however you look at it, that was interesting. He was so animated. And the next thing you know, he'd be telling it like this and da-da-da-da-da. And it was a lot. It was a lot to take in. So much was going on, but I love the way he was telling the story. He's, you know, all charismatic and animated. That's so much more interesting than just having some kind of monotone storyteller who tells a story like this. And I know people who tell stories just like this. The voice never changes and stuff like that. I like this kind of style way better when the person gets into it and their voice changes and maybe they get a little too into it and things like, you know what I'm saying? That's a much better vibe for storytelling for me. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? Me and my boys on the road. You the go. She told me, boy, you the go. Like I don't know, but I don't know. 